<clears throat> Hello again, I'm Terry with Heavy Duty Power Train. And again, I'm not a Cummins distributor. I don't want no problems with Cummins coming after me here. I'm just trying to help the average mechanic and truckers out there because I've been dealing with these Cummins ECMs for L10, M11, and 14 engines for many, many years. And we rebuild them. You don't get a paint job. It's completely gone through, and we're now offering up to a one, two, three, four, all the way up to a five year warranty. Okay, tip of the month. Uh, kind of hit me the other day that I'm getting a lot of kind of uh, questions that seem to be a little iffy. Uh, especially on the N14 Cummins. Uh, mechanics and uh, customers are calling in and they're dealing with a fault code for an injector not firing. Uh, this is kind of common in the SLECs and SLEC Pluses. Uh, the good thing about an N14 if you're a good Cummins man and you get a call about uh, that code or about an injector missing, what's really neat is that you can get what they call uh, a Noid light. And what it is, it's a simple GM, General Motors, Noid light. Unfortunately, I haven't got one here. I'm sold out of them. But they have two prongs, they're about a half inch apart about three-eighths inches long. It's about the size of a quarter. And on an N14, uh, especially if you're a Cummins mechanic, you get a road call, you go out there, and we're trying to determine, is the ECM not supplying the signal to the injector, or is it an injector problem, or what have you. But to eliminate the ECM side of things, as long as the harness is good, you take this little noid light and it's like a timing light because you got to remember it's just sending a signal out and you're just looking for that signal to come out of that injector. So all the way along the block you get six injector plugins, which is nice. M11 and L10 didn't do that. Not quite sure why, but I think it's because of earlier production. But you simply put that noid light in, you know, the wire that that's supposed to be misfiring or the injector, or maybe you're doing a, a hot cold test on the, the cylinder and you got it down to that. But you address on the ECM side, you plug that in, and then it'll have little instructions in there, and it'll tell you if the light stays on, something's going on, it's bad, or or if it uh, doesn't flash. There's another reason. Like I said, I haven't got that right in front of me, but uh, really handy tool to have in your pocket. Wish I had one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just talked to somebody today that a mechanic there that wasn't aware of that, and uh, he was happy to learn that. I'm going to pick up one. You can usually pick them up at any auto parts place that handle NOID lights. That's N O I D lights. Uh, as far as the injector, uh, you can do a resistance test on the injectors and see if they're all in line. And if you got the valve cover off and if you're getting to that point and you're getting it's getting a little head scratching, then just swap out the injector and make sure it doesn't follow. I mean that's another little quick it's not so quick but it's a sure sign switch the injector and now if that code goes to number one injector and then boom you know you got the the injector nailed it's the solenoid that's starting to get oil soaked or failed through there so uh i hope that helps you guys and uh Need any more information, just give me a call. My advice is free, and uh, that's how we built the business to be what it is, and I believe in that. It's uh, 810.
653-6300. I'm Terry Crown. Good luck trucking.